This movie tells the story of a student who underwent surgery on his head after being shot by criminals. Also, some components of his phone are still embedded in his brain, giving him extraordinary abilities to hack networks and any objects that use electricity, just with his mind. This movie tells the story of a student named Tom, with his childhood friend named Danny, who likes a woman named Lucy. There is also a bully named Eugene. Tom is a child born out of wedlock, and he lives with his grandmother named Wendy, after his mother's death. That night, Tom, who was bored at home, went to see Lucy. When he got there, he saw the door of Lucy's house open. Tom, who was curious, went inside and heard a scream. It turned out that four of the criminals raped Lucy, and one of them recorded the incident. Tom ran away and the four criminals chased him. While running, Tom took his phone and called someone for help. But suddenly the criminals shot Tom. Ten days later, Tom woke up in the hospital. The doctor said that his right side of the head had been operated on, but there was a part of the phone component that was left in his brain and could not be removed because it had entered the brain network. After undergoing an examination, Tom was allowed to go home. He felt very guilty because he couldn't help Lucy that night. And after he got home, strange things started to happen to him. Tom could hear other people's phone conversations without using any tools. He then went to see Lucy and apologized because that night, Tom couldn't help her. And from there, Tom intended to expose the perpetrators who had raped Lucy. When Tom got home, he heard the sound of a phone conversation from his head, making him dizzy. Tom began to see numbers and images like a network system that came out of objects that used electricity. And suddenly, that night, Tom saw the world felt different in his eyes. He saw a computer system that could be accessed at any time in every corner of the city. Tom, who was shocked to see it, passed out. The next day, Tom went back to campus. After a post-operative break, Tom met Danny again and said that he suspected Eugene was involved in the rape of Lucy. Danny denied it and said that even though Eugene was bad, he still had limits. On the way, Tom saw all the internet transmissions around him and this time it was clearer than what he saw before. In the practice hour, Tom saw the data transmission traffic from his friend's phones. When Tom spied on Eugene's phone, Tom was very surprised to see a video on Eugene's phone. In the video, there was a video of Lucy's rape scene that they recorded that night. And it was true that Eugene and his friends were the ones who committed the crime against Lucy. Because he was so angry, Tom accidentally made Eugene's phone explode with his mind control. That night, Tom learned how to hack a system according to his ability. He could hack anything with his mind control. So with his ability, he became an unmatched hacker. Because he mastered all the hacking techniques, Tom then began to terrorize Eugene and his friends. He hacked the smart home in Eugene's and his friends' houses. From his action, Tom saw Eugene's friend, Cuts. Tom recorded the incident, which he would later spread at school. When the campus seminar was in progress, Tom hacked the presentation laptop. Then he showed on the projector that Cuts did last night. Everyone who saw Cuts' action laughed in the room. Because Tom didn't want anyone to know that he could do all that, including Lucy, he used the name iBoy as his secret identity. Tom and Lucy then hung out by the lake, where Tom intended to help Lucy overcome her trauma. That night, Eugene and his friends planned to steal a car for them to use. When they managed to break in and get into the car, suddenly the car locked automatically. It turned out that it was Tom's doing who had hacked the system in the car. Tom then threatened Eugene and his friends and asked why they attacked the Walker family and raped Lucy. The car was then made to smoke so that they would be scared. Because Cass was very scared, he told that they were ordered by someone named Cuts. With the condition of the car that was going to burn, Tom intended to make them more scared and then released them, and the car exploded. Tom, who already knew the mastermind behind the crime against Lucy, then went to Cuts for revenge. Tom hacked the smart home in Cuts' house and displayed on the TV screen a recording that showed Cuts peeing on his beloved car. Cuts, who was surprised, then went to check his car. When Cuts and his members went out, Tom entered the house and destroyed everything in there. There, he destroyed the electronic devices and took the cocaine owned by Cuts. With the cocaine, Tom planned to launch his next action, which was to put the stuff in Eugene's and his friends' houses. So he hacked the police server and reported Eugene and his friends anonymously that Eugene and his friends were involved in cocaine trafficking. 
With the evidence that Tom put in their houses, Eugene and his friends were arrested by the police. Meanwhile, on the other side, Tom also hacked Cutts' account and made his balance zero. Cutts, who was at the machine at that time, was very shocked when he saw his balance was empty. Because Tom, alias iBoy, had disturbed the criminals in the city, Elman, who was the real boss, had to intervene. And it turned out that Cutts had a boss named Elman. Tom launched his action again, and this time he intended to burn all the drug stocks owned by Cutts and Elman. Meanwhile, Tom's grandmother, Nancy, was very worried about Tom's condition. She met with Danny and asked for his help to watch over Tom if there was any trouble. Danny agreed to the grandmother's request. Meanwhile, Tom, who had hacked the satellite network, tracked down the location of Cutts and Elman. After successfully tracking their location, Tom went to their headquarters. After arriving at a port, Tom managed to paralyze some of the guards there. Tom, who had found the illegal goods owned by Cutts and Elman, burned them without hesitation. But suddenly, Cutts and his men appeared and beat Tom severely. Here, Tom almost died, but with his abilities, he made a high-frequency sound that could disrupt human hearing. With that, Tom managed to escape. The next day, Tom met with Danny. Danny saw something strange about Tom and seemed to know that the mysterious person who used the identity as iBoy was Tom himself. When Tom got home and arrived at his house, he was suddenly pointed at with a gun. It turned out that Elman's friend had been waiting for Tom at his house. Tom's grandmother was also held hostage by Elman's men. It turned out that Elman already knew that the hacker who used the identity of iBoy was Tom. Not only that, Elman also knew what Tom could do, such as hacking without touching. He got all that information from Danny, who had told Elman that it was Tom. It turned out that he had been observing Tom and knew for a long time that Tom was iBoy, who could hack with his mind. Just for money, Danny was willing to betray Tom, who had been his friend since childhood. Elman then ordered Tom to hack a bank and fill his account. Here, Tom initially refused, but Elman had already captured Lucy and would kill her if he did not obey all his orders. Reluctantly, Tom finally obeyed Elman's orders. Tom then hacked the bank with his mind control and started filling Elman's account. Not long after, Elman and his men took Tom to their headquarters. Meanwhile, Lucy, who was held by Eugene and his friends, managed to escape and took Eugene's gun. When Lucy was about to leave the place, Elman suddenly arrived there too and brought Tom. Here, Tom was forced to hack the bank again and fill Elman's account. But Tom also tried to escape and save himself and Lucy. Tom also hacked all the phones of the criminals and exploded all their phones. When Tom was about to leave the place, he was suddenly hit from behind with an iron rod. Because he was very angry, Elman intended to kill Tom. But suddenly Lucy appeared and shot Elman. Elman who still had energy. He also managed to hit Lucy. Tom who could not accept seeing what happened, gathered electric energy and released it towards Elman. Elman finally died from the energy attack that Tom made. A few days later, Tom woke up from his coma. Here he was accompanied by his grandmother, Nancy. After that, things started to improve since the Mafia boss was eliminated, and now the area where Tom lived was peaceful again with no more crime. Danny, the friend who betrayed him, tried to apologize to Tom using money. But Tom, who had pride, rejected the money outright. And the fact was, Danny also knew about the rape of Lucy, and he was the one who recorded it. Meanwhile, Tom and Lucy resumed their love story. Here they were finally able to calm down, and Lucy also knew that iBoy was Tom himself. After all that happened, Tom's ability to hack was still not gone, and he could still use his ability for good, and the movie ends. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe because by subscribing you have supported me to make better videos. See you in the next video.